When it comes to international films, I've had a long problem. For most of my life, I've seen only American films, both animated and live action. Only recently I, have I gotten into foreign films. I've seen 28 Japanese films, 10 Irish films, and one Spanish, Korean, and French film. We're going to talk about that one French film, Taxi. Now, to make it clear, I never watched foreign films not because I was racist, but because I wasn't old enough. What I mean by that is that I never watch films... Uh, you see, I, wa I always watch films with subtitles unless they don't have a specific in a DVD. Uh, but I never watch foreign films because I wanted to hear the English audio as well as read the English subtitles. Not just read the English subtitles and hear foreign audio. Like, I may be a self-deprecating, self-destructive, mean-spirited, horrible, racist, greedy person, but I'm not racist. Wait. Taxi was released in 1998 and stars French people, what a shock. The surprising thing about it is that it doesn't take place in Paris. It takes place in, uh, where does it take place, uh, oh, French pronunciation. Uh, it takes place in, Marseille. Yeah, that. It was a lot easier to pronounce than I thought. So yeah, it takes place in Marseille. A French film that doesn't take place in Paris, take us away! I actually think this is a very unique setting. It shows that there's a lot more to France than just Paris. Because everyone believes that France is just the city of Paris and the rest is just dead air. But enough about geography. What is this? School? School's over and I'm talking about movies for the whole summer. I need a life. <laughs> it's taxi. The film follows Daniel Morales. French uncle of Miles Morales, a talented driver who has recently gotten a job as a taxi driver and with his, and with this, has his own custom built car that can transform into a race car if needed for ultra speed. A cop, uh, what's, uh, what's his name, um, oh for crying out loud. Emilien Couton Kerbelec. Yeah, that, or something else. God damn it. Oh well, pronunciation isn't everything. I mean, it kind of is if you're on the internet. He's, yeah, so this guy, Emilien, he's bad at driving and is currently involved with an operation to stop a German gang who keep robbing banks. And they're headed for Marseille. Emilien blackmails Daniel to drive him places to stop the gang in exchange that Emilien doesn't tell the police about Daniel's many broken road rules. Eventually, Emilien moves into Daniel's house and this motivates Daniel to crack the case in order to get him out. However, the two become friends and become motivated to stop the robbers from enacting their crimes together. Now, it seems initially that this follows the typical buddy cop formula, where two characters don't like each other at first, but eventually become friends, then something bad happens, and they hate each other now, because these mo movies made for older audiences have mo plots for that are like kids' movies and stuff. But then they realize they have to work together to stop the real villains. You know, films like Rush Hour and um, Asmosis Jones. However, while it initially appears to be like that, it quickly subverts your expectations and turns into a very funny, very unique, and very likable film. As seen in the description on Wikipedia, this is an action comedy film, and the comedy itself is delectable, as, I would, as one would say. There are tons of witty deadpan jokes as well as fun slapstick. The action is also very fun, I love chase movies, and this is definitely high up on that list. After all, Blues Brothers is my favorite movie. <laughs> like I'd ever talk about that. It's just so many, so much stuff to say. I will never talk about that film, ever, ever. They take advantage of the city streets, and it's very quick to get behind. Whatever that means. Seriously, I'm literally reading some of the script, and I have no idea where I read that. I guess a bad time. Speaking, I, I'm talking way too much, I've got to get to the point, but great action and comedy doesn't always work if the characters aren't interesting, which they are. Daniel and Emilian work really well off of each other, and can lead to some of the funniest moments in the film. Sometimes you don't need to do, do wacky sounds and stuff to be funny. Take notes, Adam Sandler, I think you should probably take, take notes about this, that um, doing wacky sounds every time is, is not very funny. Uh... The other characters are also interesting and funny as well, although not as prominent. I think the good comedy and likability of the characters can come from the great acting. 
Oh god, more names. And these are some names, definitely. These are some wild names. Back to translation. Samina Seri and Frédéric Diffenthal. Who play Daniel and Emilian respect, 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 respectively, respectfully. Oh, what's the word? Respectively, there we go. Play their roles perfectly. However, if I had to have a criticism, and it took me long enough, <laughs> you know, YouTube, always with that negativity, it would be that the other actors aren't as well directed. They're not bad, they're just not great. Other great things about this movie include the energetic music and the fast-paced editing, which are both expertly done by their respective people. The first track in the film is very similar to the, like, the most famous track from Pulp Fiction. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is, because I genuinely don't remember, I didn't write it in the script. Also because uh, they're the exact same track and you can listen to them both just listen just by just searching up Taxi Sign Track. I'm not going to link every everything I mentioned in the description. What am I, your dad? I'm not going to do everything for you. Search it up! Go on, search it up. I'll give I'll give you a few minutes. Don't I have a video to do. Ah, yes. <clears throat> uh, the cinematography isn't interesting, but it's still well done. My least favorite part of the film, and of most films for that matter, is the short sex scene in the middle. I'm gonna be really careful with this film, with with this uh, part. A common stereotype with French anything is that they're incredibly horny. I'm not all for stereotypes, but it's hard to ignore the fact that there's a blatant sex scene right smack dab in the middle of this. Otherwise, fantastic film. I'm not trying to sound like an old fart that doesn't like sex. Do it. I don't care. It's just that unless it's a romantic film or it's the focus of the film, it has no purpose of being there Except to make the teenagers in the audience horny, which is dumb, and stupid, and dumb. Aside from that, FANTASTIC FILM! The story is unique, the characters are likeable, the action is fun, the comedy is funny, the, act the, the acting is great, the music is energetic, and the editing is fast-paced. The, the cinematography is only okay, and the sex scene is about as needed as a guardrail for moving on a couch. Sure, the like this somewhere. I highly recommend this film if you want to get into French cinema, or you just like action comedy films and chase films. Now I bet you're probably not wondering, why didn't you watch The Untouchables, the most well-known French film? Well, I wanted to. In fact, I have it on DVD. Yeah, d number 240, it's a Spanish coffee cop- Number 240 is a Spanish copy of The Untouchables. And the reason I'm showing just some still image of this uh, that I can zoom into is that uh, I do have this on DVD, but I can't really show it because, uh, well, I, I would show, I would record it for you, but uh, I can't, I don't know if I can record during a screen record because that kind of would stop the recording. I'm not recording all this again, but look at this. This is the back cover. Let's look at the subtitles. Notice anything? No English. I don't know what Castellano is. This is a Spanish copy. But there's no English whatsoever. No no English subtitles. I'm fine with no English audio, but no English su subtitles? Are you f***ing kidding me? What a load of horse. Why is, why is this rated a 7? Like, in this in, in Spain, this is, these are the age rating systems. This is rated 7? Doesn't this film have effort in it? Ah, uh, who cares? I'm done with the view. I'll link in this. I'll link the version I watch on YouTube. Just didn't I just say I don't? I'm not gonna link stuff. Well, I am. I'm a hypocrite. It's part of my character. Anyway, bye.